pay that off with my extra checks from uh, the university. And uh, probably not going to happen. Probably not going to happen. So, you know, financial 50-50. Uh, marriage, plan one mini vacation with the wife. This is very important. Often I lose track what is really important in my life and I forget to spend time with the person I love so much. And have not done the mini vacation. Well, okay, I take that back. We did go to the coast in, we did go to the coast, I believe in August, September. And and that was kind of out of the blue. So yeah, so I can I can count that as a mini vacation. I wanted to do one more. Uh, probably not going to happen because of the holidays. But uh, so I'm going to put a check by that too. We did go to the coast, just me and her. So we did have a good time. Uh, number four, podcasts. I finally created one and got it on iTunes. Keep it up. Don't give don't give up and commit to the commit to it for the next six months. Uh, add value to somebody's life. I don't know if I added value to anybody's life yet, but I am keeping up with the podcast. So I'm going to put check. And the house, this one kills me. However, I need to change. And I'm reading this off the thing, so just in case you guys know. Uh, this one kills me. However, I need to change out all the rusted water faucets outside my home. Check before the winter comes and uh, the freeze and breaks them off, causing a mess. Check. So I'm good. Oh, one more goal for the road complete the editing of my ebook. I have not done that and probably won't finish it, but it's going to always be on my back. So that's one goal that I added on and I haven't completed that. So. Boo. But uh, so I, I, I'd give myself an A, right? B plus maybe? B plus? So uh, I think that's pretty cool. So that is that. Uh, real quick, I'm going to tell you guys how to, uh, if you go to my keepingitsober.org website, you can check out the home page to the right column. There's a new le- newsletter sign up. Uh, if you're listening, go ahead and uh, you can sign up for free. And you can get newsletters when we have new podcasts out and stuff like that. And then I can, it's really a bar to measure uh, who's listening and from what area and stuff like that. And see what, you know, see what I need to talk about or blog about. So if you do me that favor, that'd be great. Just sign up. If you're listening, go to the keepingitsober.org uh, website, the homepage in the right column. Uh, it's the newsletter sign up. And I promise I won't spam you. And I swear to you, I won't sell your emails to anyone this is just this is just for me guys just for me to you uh you also have my about page you can go to my blog click on the blog it goes to the uh, keeping it sober dot uh, com blog you can see my latest keeping it sober memes with uh I have this little puppy with a big old bone and it has the words when the when the rewards exceed your imagination so i'm putting you know little cute stuff like that so uh then you can click on podcast and you can find the podcast so that is the housekeeping for right now, and we're going to go ahead and talk about sports in recovery. So how I came up with this topic was uh, I came up with this topic because I heard a guy um, actually where I was working at my treatment center. We were in, 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 we were in an area where they watch TV and stuff in the evenings, and so I heard a gentleman, uh, they were watching a game, and his team was losing and he was like, I'm going to freaking relapse over this. Right. And so I, I kind of wish I had a recorder. I, I didn't know the guy. Uh, he was, he got there like the day before and it, and it was actually my Monday. So I, I, I wasn't familiar with all the clients yet. So, you know, that statement kind of rung true. Cause you know, I was that guy. I remember being in the treatment center, you know, almost three years ago in that exact, almost, I mean, in the same, in the, in the same area, uh, watching the Super Bowl almost in the same exact seat. I mean, for you, for guy, for y'all, for you guys that don't know, I work at the treatment center that I actually went to. So, uh, and I have been that guy. I remember I almost left when uh, my 49ers lost in the Super Bowl, and I was also arguing with my wife because I was upset. I was calling her, and she was uh, at a Super Bowl party or get together, and and the Niners were losing, and I, you know, I nearly left and lost it and relapsed. And the cause of it, well, I could say it was over the game. I just really, it was really all about me. But yeah, the game was a trigger. So last evening, uh, and this was a couple of days ago. So last evening I go to a meeting and the gentleman uh, talks about how he had to stop watching sports in early recovery. And yeah, me too. And, and I and I totally get that. And, and so that's why I thought we'd talk about, you know, uh, the sports in, in early recovery 
put, take out the word sports and put whatever your hobby or your leisure time is. You don't have to use sports. But, um, you know, hopefully it's not gambling because that's kind of a like an issue. It's not, I don't know, it's not a hobby. But if, if, you know, replace it with something else. I don't know, maybe you like to go play paintball or you mountain bike for competition or, or basketball is your deal or, you know, something that when you used to watch it for leisure time or whatever, barbecue maybe, uh, uh, barbecue and, and, you know, always drinking and using or whatever, um, you know, whenever you did it, you, you associated it with drinking and using. So yeah, I, I, when I got serious, um, my last relapse and I went back to treatment and this is the time that, you know, the Niners went to the Super Bowl and I freaked out because they were losing and, you know, wanted to relapse and got mad at my wife. When I finally got serious about uh, my sobriety, I knew inside that I had to stop watching sports. And and I knew I knew it wasn't forever, but I knew it was for right now. It it, it was uh, it, I I just I just knew it in my heart that I could not stay sober and still be involved in in you know the parlays, the gambling, uh, following the team. Um, I, you know, twenty four seven Sports Center, and that's one thing I kept off. And I don't watch Sports Center anymore. And it used to be on my house twenty four seven. I listen to a lot of talk radio, which is a lot of it's sports, but no more Sports Center. It, and it, and it, and when you start getting sober, when when you start, you know, when you start living sober, you kind of realize that. Well, I realize that a lot of the sports I was watching was a big waste of time. I completely cut out fantasy football. I save so much time and grief on Sundays. Uh, I still don't sit down and watch football all day like I used to. And, and part of that is now sober, I realize it's a big waste of time. I do like watching a big game. Uh, college football is my sport. Yes, I still plan, you know, the day around a good, a big college football game. And which maybe I shouldn't, but you know, it, it's... In the beginning, I cut it all out, and just now, and I think it's just it's fair to say just this season that I'm really starting to watch sports again, but I don't watch it like how I used to, and I don't watch every game, and I don't live on ESPN, and I don't have all the apps, and well, I have I have one app, but so it, it it's it's really crucial, guys, and you got to ask yourself this because I know in early sobriety it, it seems crazy, like give up my friends, I mean you know give up sports. Uh, I mean, what else? No dessert? I mean, I know it sounds crazy, but you got to ask yourself, I mean, what do you want to do? Uh, you, you know, do you want help? If, if you, if, if you're tired and you want help, I mean, well, these are the things you have to do. It, it's not, you know, it, I wish I could explain this to all the new people in treatment when they get there, because it's kind of like, you know, it, it, and I get it. Cause I was there before. It's kind of like this attitude. Okay. So what am I supposed to do now? If I don't drink and use you know, well, it, hey, chill out because it takes time. It, it, it's a process. Uh, first, let's get you sober. First, let's make sure you want to stay sober, and then we'll teach you how to stay sober. So, um, yeah, and and I can go a step further. Sports and, and friends. I to this day, I still still don't talk to any friends. Uh, not like how I used to. And a lot of that's maybe our relationships were built on drinking and using or selling, and some. Uh, we're built on going to high school together and then some were just kind of, you know, we're there, but it, it, it I just put them all in one bag and put them to the side it, it, And I talked to literally one friend from high school that I keep up with. Uh, and, 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 when, and it's funny cause I'm like over here, you know, who cares about sports and, but we talk about sports. That's how we keep up with them and we bike ride. So. Uh, that's one friend out of, you know, thousand of, of friends or whatever. Uh, so, uh, my neighbor across the street, I grew up with him, but uh, it's always high and by, and I stop and talk to him and he's a good guy and he works hard and, and, and I don't know what his personal life is anymore. And I really don't want to know, but it's always high and by with him. Uh, and, and actually I have another guy that that's really into church and, and he stopped drinking and using uh, just by the church and. And uh, I talk to him every once in a while, but uh, everyone else is, is I really don't talk to because I just I just don't need to. And you know what? They don't need to talk to me. I mean, everyone has their own lives. But yeah, to bring it back to our topic, um, yeah, uh, sports and gambling and in in 
put in replace you know sports and gambling with whatever you you want to replace it with but for today for the week for the season yeah you, if if you think you're going to relapse on it then you got to stop watching you just do and 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 I don't know what you're going to watch instead and I don't know what you're going to do instead that's for you to decide you know that's that's your decision with your uh counselor or your mentor or your sponsor or you know whoever's making the decisions in your life to help you out right now that's that's for you to decide that's not for me to decide uh I, i'm telling you that after 23 years of using and drinking you know the first year or so uh, i had to stop watching sports and i'm still sober and i'm going on three years and uh, i've gotten my family back and my life back and a job and and everything's really good and everything's really good when it when it's really bad it's still really good so I don't know guys you you got to figure out something else than than what you're used to in in the social what you're used to and uh while you drink and use you you just got to do something else and if that means change the friends change you know I'd give anything if I could move and I know some people can't and and it's hard but you know I don't just like oh well, moving's ridiculous I don't think so I would love to move out of here. I would love to move out of San Antonio. I would love to move out of my neighborhood. And uh for some reason I think my life would just be so much better. However, I have a family and I have a wife and and uh you know, the answer isn't running from your, you know, disease and and that's probably what I'd be doing and and I'm okay here at home. It's it's not like I'd live, you know, uh in some crazy neighborhood, but I I don't know. It's just things you got to do overall. You do got to make changes. And uh I'm just going to pound that and pound that you got to make changes early in recovery if you want a chance at uh a life of sobriety and uh, a good life you know not just sobriety but a, a good life and a fun life so you can reach the podcast uh through Twitter at keeping it sober you can go to our Facebook page Instagram guys also yeah real quick if you don't have a blog yet what are you waiting for Go sign up for a free blog on wordpress.com. I'm not an affiliate. I don't make money off that. Just go to wordpress.com. It's free to sign up. Start your blog. It doesn't have to be necessarily recovery, but just just start your writing, uh start your networking. You can follow me, follow my uh, just do the search for keeping it sober. You can follow me. I'll follow you back. Yeah, guys, get get it writing because later on down the road it can turn on to your website and to your podcast and 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 who knows? You can start, you know, uh, uh selling ebooks and stuff like that. So, but it's all going to start somewhere. So, you got to have a platform. So, so get your wordpress.com uh site up and going. Uh if you have any questions email me jbmedia at smartbroadcast.org that's j the letter j b media at smartbroadcast.org uh email me if you have any questions about starting a podcast blog whatever I'll be I'll be very happy to help you or you can just uh find me on social media again at keeping it sober uh the facebook page instagram and uh my website keepingitsober.org guys thanks again for listening love doing the podcast Don't forget if you have a little bit of time go to the homepage of keepingitsober.org in the right column you can sign up for the free newsletter so everyone have a great November thanks for listening this is keeping it sober podcast number 8 talk to you later guys bye Okay so this guy walks into the meeting right and he walks in like he freaking owns the place and I can't stand this guy his freaking grin his the way he walks the way he sits down the way he puts his arm around the chair that's empty and just waves his hair back and and just acts like just he's the guy like I mean I am counting the minutes until he relapses I mean do you ever what